what's up welcome back so today i wanted to film a little video of me like getting fit again slash starting new habits of my life just new healthy habits that can lead to a lot more just ease and peace in life because i tend to get super unorganized all of a sudden and then i feel like i get a lot of anxiety and stress and then the minute I get back on my routine, I feel so much better. So we're getting back on our routines, getting fit and healthy and manifesting and all of that good fun stuff. Um, and I also wanted to say like, I've been a little MIA and I apologize for that. I do have a good reason though. I got my boobies done, redone. Um, long story short with that, I had like some capsuling and it, I think it's called capsuling. I could be totally wrong. Um, caps. So, I don't know something um basically the scar tissue is building up around the implant and it was like squishing the implant together so it was like really uncomfortable for me um and I wanted to go a little bit bigger this time so I did and yeah I'm excited to see like their full like what they'll look like when they're done healing but anyways I wrote down like my to-do list today slash like my new habits and routines that I want to like incorporate and yeah so right now it is like 7 30 ish in the morning i believe yeah it's like 7 30 and this morning i woke up like six i ate my breakfast and then i started journaling slash manifesting and like envisioning what everything that i'm manifesting as if like i'm walking through it at that moment like that's my little secret to manifesting that just puts me in like a higher vibration and it just makes me really excited about life so this whole video is going to be about like my new habits and just getting healthy and fit again so i'm back and i'm really gonna try to be consistent okay guys i really do do want to try so here we go okay so first part or i guess second part i keep doing that okay second part you guys i haven't vlogged in like a long time so we're just giving it a go here so the first thing second thing oh my god <laughs> that i do is i am now heading to the gym and i'm starting my day off and i am listening to the dr aaron podcast and she literally is like helping me get back on my like spiritual track that I feel like I was at before I moved to LA. Um, so I'm just like really excited because I've been listening to her podcast and they just like make me feel so good about my day. And I feel like I'm learning and I'm gaining so much insight just about life and about spirituality. And she has like every single topic that you could like ever think of on her podcast like right now i'm listening to the money breakthrough series and i found out something about myself and i'm about to be like really really real with you guys so please don't judge me because we're all just humans trying to get through this thing that we call life but i found out that i place a lot of my like self-value on how much money i make and i think that's because of like past traumas or whatever it was in my childhood or a past life um so it's just been really cool to like listen to her podcast and find out new things about myself and just how to grow and become a better person and just like a vibrate at a higher frequency um so yeah i'm just like really happy and i feel really positive and i want you guys to feel this feeling that i have too so if you guys want to go check her out um I'll probably, I could probably leave a link in my description or something to her podcast. Um, or you can just search it. It's, ah, sorry. It's the Dr. Aaron podcast on Spotify or Apple Music. Um, I think she has it on everything. But I'm just saying, like, I love her. You guys should go check her out. I kind of look like an egg with my hair like this. I don't know how I feel. Okay. I'm at the gym. And I'm kind of whispering because I get kind of embarrassed when I have my mouth on. But here I am, okay guys? I cannot really lift any weights right now. Well, I can, I guess, I don't know, I'm probably gonna try, I'm gonna try to push myself. It's at four weeks right now since my breast augmentation. So, I'm gonna start with light weights. I literally have not lifted anything over 20 pounds in four weeks. So, I have lost a lot of booty muscle. And I'll show you guys later today. But, so I'm going to start with my resistance bands. These are my Keech Peach bands. It comes in this cute little bag that says Keech Peach. But I'll show you all of them. So this is the light one. 
really cute. Fun fact, I actually drew these bodies. <laughs> I actually drew these on Procreate. Um, so they're really special to me. So this is the light. This is the medium, which I'm probably gonna be using this one today. We're gonna see how it goes. This is the heavy. This one is actually really heavy, but um, yeah, so I'm excited to finally get started again. But let's do the damn thing. Okay, this one's a little bit too light, so I'm gonna go to the medium. That's perfect. Not too heavy and not too light, but I still get a good burn. So, keep doing my donkey kicks. And then right after my donkey kick, I'm gonna go straight into doing my clamshells, my fire hydrants. So now that I just did my band activations, I'm going to go and do my best at doing weights. And I'm probably not gonna film it because there's a lot of people in there and I get scared. Um, but I'm gonna go do some weights and then I'll check back in with you after. Oh, 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 I also forgot. But if you guys are in need of new resistance bands, I'm going to leave these in like in my description box. So go check them out. I love them. All right, just got home from the gym. Made my protein shake. We got a banana, like a small banana. Banana, um, I think about a tablespoon of almond butter, maybe two. Then we got two scoops of vegan protein powder and almond milk and ice and some spinach, like maybe like a handful of frozen spinach. Um, and yeah. This is what I'm drinking after every workout. Gotta feed those muscles. Okay, so the other part of like this new habit slash new routine that I'm doing, new way of life, let's call it, because this is gonna last me forever. Not even a new routine, but a, um, a new way of life. Okay, so the next thing is to just not let myself sit and like lay down in the beginning of the day because that's what I tend to do like oh if I went to the gym I would just like lay down for a little bit be on my phone and then shower and then get ready and then figure out something to do but no I'm going to stay productive until 5 p.m. and then at 5 p.m. is when I can relax so that's what we're doing so I'm gonna go get ready and then I got a couple more stuff to do for work and yeah another part of this new way of life is I'm going to be consistent with my gua sha, my gua sha, my gua sha, whatever it's called. I'm going to be consistent with doing this because I just have heard it has a lot of benefits for your face and keeping your skin young and tight. So that's what we're doing. And I guess you're supposed to start with some sort of like moisturizing spray and then some sort of oil. So yeah. All right, so I'm about to get ready while I listen to my favorite podcast. Sorry if you guys hear this playing. Actually, I'm going to pause it right now. Um, but that's the same podcast I was talking about earlier this morning. The Dr. Aaron um, podcast. I'm listening to the Money Breakthrough series right now. I think I'm on episode six. So, yeah, I'm just going to listen to that while I get ready. You know, having just a constant, like, positive and um i don't know just like a constant like positive words that you can be hearing subconsciously like as you're like doing something else but like your body and like your soul and your energy or you know what i'm trying to say is still like hearing those words so it's like instead of playing like i don't know some sort of rap music that has some harmful words to certain people or um, just has like a negative type of vibe to it um, Instead of like listening to like music like that 
if you just, I don't know, I feel like listen to something positive that your subconscious is taking in and yeah, and then reflecting. So that's another thing I'm doing. So doctor and podcast, go listen. Desire. Also, and if you focus on a that, fresh clean beauty blender, like it's just my life. Like, it, it can't, oh, your focus like everything is new, new habits, new beauty blender world. and new boobs. Oh my it God. Can't be that. It can't. Hello, I'm back going to add my favorite lip gloss, the Lip Glow Oil by Dior. You have me popping zits in the back? <laughs> yes. Damn. What up, y'all? This is my boyfriend. If you guys want to see some videos of us together, then go to our joint channel, Dam Bam. D-A-M-F-A-M. Damn, fam! Anyways, back to what I'm doing. I've been obsessed with like blush and lip gloss lately. I don't know why. I just am. So I think that I can never have enough blush on. I could probably look like a crazy person, but I don't really care. I think it's cute. Uh, I think my blush brush is too big because it always like goes past the where my blush is supposed to be. So I need to go like Sephora and get a new one or something. All right, that's how we look today. All blushed and glossed up. I'm gonna do my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my little outfit. I have this cute shirt that was thrifted. I'm sorry. I guess I could look at the name and where it's from. It's from Exhilaration. Something like that. I don't know if you guys know what brand that is, but it's from there. Thrifted it somewhere in LA. Um, and then I just have sweatpants on because it's kind of rainy out, so kind of feeling like the cozy with the crop top vibe, you know? This is how I did my hair. I only straightened a couple pieces back here because it looked kind of crazy, but I've just come to the fact that I'm never going to have the soft, silky hair. And I'm just going to roll with it, you know? It's okay to have a little frizz, a little volume. All right, now I'm going to start my work day and I'm going to film a couple things for my OnlyFans. I'm going to take a couple Instagram pictures, I think. I also am gonna be on a podcast, so I'm doing that today. So the next part of my new habit slash way of life is, I don't know why I just went upside so down, is being consistent with doing laundry. We'll see if this one lasts, but <laughs> I'm gonna do my best, okay? And that's all that matters. What are you laughing at? Don't act like you're any better. Who's done all the laundry? Um, what, once a month? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, but, but at least I do them once a month. No. How many times a month do you No, do you them? started a load and then you left it in there and then left me to do it. That, what? Right. Anyways, this new habit slash folding, way of babe. life is we're going to be consistent with our laundry, okay? Go ahead and start folding. I'm working on it. So, it's coming up on the end of the day, and I just want to have a little, like, health chat. So, um, I want to say, like, two months ago, I got all my blood work done just because I wanted to, like, truly understand my body and understand like which vitamins or which certain foods that my body needs specifically and it's been a really really cool process just to like fully understand my body to be able to catch things that could turn into something more um so it's just been a really cool process and about a couple of weeks ago i got my blood drawn and then i had a doctor like literally dissect my blood and dna Tell me if I was like too low on iron or if a certain hormone was too low and one was too high. Um, so she gave me a few medications that she like compounds and like makes herself with, which is like really cool because I'm kind of a psycho. I don't like trust anything in the medical industry for some reason. So I'm so grateful that I found her because she makes all of her own stuff. And since then it's been about, I think two months or something. Yeah, it's been about two months. Um, I felt so, I feel so much better. I have so much more energy throughout the day. I feel more clear minded. Um, and she also gave me this certain hormone that I'm actually chewing on right now, 
or it's something i don't really know it's called oxytocin and it's like the love hormone and i just had some like childhood traumas or whatever or whatever <laughs> just gonna laugh about it <laughs> um that made me like not feel love or accept love from other people and i i know this is just a little part of like getting over your traumas but from a very young age i was i think i was missing the hormone oxytocin or the chemical the chemical or hormone i'm not even do more research on it but either way i was missing oxytocin and i think i have been for a very long time and i started taking it and i noticed my social anxiety has been a lot better and that's really cool because it's not like some like crazy medication that you have to take and that your body will rely on um so it's just been a really cool journey anyways um also what i'm about to do usually at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week i will have a call with my spiritual doctor and i'm all about like growing just in spirituality and it just like i don't know it's just something that is really really important to me and that i'm really really excited for about my future um and so i've been talking with dr erin i'm gonna pop her little beautiful face up right here and i've been listening to her podcast like every single day i yeah i mentioned you guys podcast mentioned you guys her podcast earlier today um so that is one thing that has really helped me she's just been helping me go through my trauma and just have a whole new spiritual rebirth and yeah i'm just really excited about it um so i'm about to go have my meeting with her and then after that i'm probably going to cook a healthy dinner um i think i'm probably gonna have a salad and maybe some chicken or something like that we'll see but that really just concludes this video um i hope you gained some value from today or i hope that it motivated you to work out or to eat healthy or to just start healthy habits of your life and to recognize that they are there to stay and that they can last a lifetime last a lifetime really am moved to tennessee they can last a lifetime if you make them it's all in your own head you choose what you do every day you have a choice no matter what so you can either choose to continue on with these good habits or you can break it and go back to your old habits which is just not good so let's all like do this together and stay on track anyways it's okay if you're still just figuring it out it's okay just as long as you get back on track is what matters anyways i love you guys so much and thank you for watching let me know if you want me to do more like vlog style videos like i did today i personally like to film them because i think they're kind of fun anyways just let me know in the comments below I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check me out on all of my socials. I do have a fitness Instagram called Keech Peach. I'll like pop it right there. And then I do have a Instagram. It's just Daisy Keech. TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, all that. I'll just put it all right there. Um, I think that's it. Oh yeah, my bands. If you guys need any more resistance bands, definitely head over to www.keechpeach.fit. Otherwise, I will leave a link in the description box below along with Dr. Aaron's podcast. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.